How Ripple Works Let's look at the inner workings of Ripple's solution and how it improves cross-border payments. In this example, two banks use a correspondent bank to route their payments. The Ripple solution includes Ripple Connect, which is used to coordinate information exchange between the banks. The solution ingests existing message formats like Swift Fin or ISO 20022 through a translation layer, such as CGI's Intelligent Gateway or Volante's Volpay. Let's follow one payment through the entire payment flow. First, the translation layer parses the message and collects necessary information to initiate the payment. Here you see that Alice in the US wants to send money to Bob in Germany. She wants Bob to receive 500 euros. And the ILP ledger uses the interledger protocol to coordinate funds movement between institutions to settle the payment. Ripple Connect communicates with the correspondent and beneficiary banks to obtain their payment processing fees and total cost. Next, pre-transaction validation takes place. This includes compliance screening and account verification checks. Now it's time to coordinate funds flow across the private ILP ledgers of these three different institutions. In this example, the originating bank has a Nostro account with the correspondent bank, and the beneficiary bank is using a third-party liquidity provider to connect in with the correspondent bank. To begin the settlement process, Ripple coordinates a hold on the funds across all three ledgers. The ILP ledgers generate cryptographic signatures to verify that the funds are committed to the transaction. Then, the funds are simultaneously released across the three ledgers. This process ensures no settlement risk. The payment either executes or fails. Upon completion, Ripple provides a confirmation message to all counterparties. That was a demonstration that was done nearly nine years ago. Talked specifically about using ISO 20022 standards, which are about to be adopted by all financial institutions around the world.